Our next presenter, and our last presenter, is Van An Vika Nguyen. Her title is Clipping Wires Inside a Biological Bomb Targeting Cancer's Weak Links. Her advisor is Donald Major She's from the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences. She's a relentless sampler of ethnic food. She is uh, obviously born in Russia, I think, and um, enjoys computer programming, psychology, and fashion. Ready, set, pitch. Imagine yourself being strapped to a time bomb, like the one you see in the picture on the left. You know that you have to cut certain wires to stop this bomb from exploding, and you know that if you do that in a wrong order or touch wrong wires, the clock might start ticking a little faster. What are you going to do? Fortunately, I don't deal with explosives, but my research pertains to something equally complex and scary, a biological bomb called cancer. I wish I could find a cure for cancer, but over the time, scientists realized that one solution fits all approach really does not exist for cancer. Just like you don't expect to find one perfect way to defuse every single bomb out there, you shouldn't expect to find a magic therapy that will work for every cancer type or even subtype. So, does it mean that we should all just give up? Absolutely not. It means that every cancer requires a tailored approach, but I believe that the more you know about your enemy, the more likely you are to win the war. What I'm saying is that you want, if you want to find the best treatment strategy for your cancer of interest, you want to start by collecting all available information about the processes or wires that drive the functioning of your cancer cell. My work is focused on non-Hodgkin lymphoma, which is a blood cancer. I am interested in knowing why patients with different subtypes of the disease do not respond in the same manner if given the same treatment. My analysis point out that the differences we observe could be partly explained by the ways the subtypes are wired, which changes altogether how we should treat them. But first, I need to know the structure of these biological bombs and what they're made of. So, I put together a puzzle, or what we call a network, that paints a comprehensive picture of what's happening inside lymphoma cell, very much like the diagram on the right. This picture would be slightly different depending on which genetic alteration were introduced in each subtype that caused a normal cell to turn to cancer cell. Therefore, the most appropriate drug treatments for each subtype will also be different, and we can determine that by applying techniques that are based on mathematics and biology. However, identifying most promising wires to clip is no longer enough. Cancer therapy has become increasingly complicated due to an understanding that more often than not, patients require a multi-drug regimen to overcome this devastating disease. We need to know which combinations of wires will merely slow down the clock and which one can actually terminate the bomb. This is where mathematical modeling comes into place. It allows us to predict what, when, and just how much to give to patients before we go into clinical trials. Doing so can significantly cut down the time that it takes to develop successful therapies that can save lives of thousands of patients. So we've come a long way in understanding and battling cancer, and we still have a lot of work ahead of us. But I'm confident that we will get there, one wire at a time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just enjoyed 15 incredible presentations, and I'm sure you enjoyed them as much as I did. Let's give another round of applause to all of our presenters. Our judges are working on their last um, uh, evaluation, and when they're done that, we're going to allow them to step out of the room. And you can do that whenever you're ready so they can begin their deliberations. And I think they're going to have a tough job. I would point out that we've retained Price Waterhouse to help with the, the uh... <laughs> sorry, it just popped up, you know. <laughs> but while they're doing their fine work and tough work. Remember what we said at the beginning of this presentation and, and event that we said that you and the audience were going to have a chance to be a judge as well. So um, I think what we're going to do is we, we're giving you time to get your devices out, turn them on. Now it's appropriate. And um, pull them up. 
And uh, pretty soon I'm going to give you a signal when you have about three minutes. We'll open the voting for about three minutes. The web address is, as you've seen up there, I'm not going to try to spell it out for you. And um, are everybody ready to vote so you have time? I don't want to start too soon. I don't hear any objections. So I think we have to say, ready, set, vote. <laughs> 